Hey, I'm Carbo Brotherhood. A common question we get is why do I need to use your AR-15 barrel nut grease and where am I supposed to apply it if I do want to use it? Well, those are two great questions. First thing, you need to use this grease because the military uses it. It's a mil-spec AeroShell 33MS lithium grease that meets mil standard mil golf 21164 delta. Now, the reason the military uses it because the barrel is steel and the upper receiver is aluminum. So when you have steel and aluminum under extreme heat and pressure, it'll actually weld itself together, making it impossible to change barrels in the future. And just like the brakes in your car, yes, you will need to change barrels in the future. How will you know when you need to do that? Well, under a best supported position of any kind, you won't even be able to keep a group by any means. So that being said, you're gonna have to change a barrel in the future. You need to use the grease. So where do you wanna put the grease? Well, take this little tin right here, Unscrew the lid. It's got little threads on it. It's nice shiny metallic gray AeroShell 33MS. This stuff even smells like the armory. It's beautiful. Ah, all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a nice little dab of it and you're going to put it on the threads here on your upper receiver. Okay. Don't need to go crazy with it. This stuff goes a long ways. You'll probably get three to five builds at a minimum probably a lot more. So get it on the threads of your upper, then also on the inside where the barrel's going to insert. I got a nice generous portion of it on there. Then also the other thing, while this is still in the shot, you're gonna put it on the thread, the uh, on the tip of the barrel where you're gonna put your flash suppressor that's another spot. It's really four places. So the, uh, the tip of the barrel where you're going to put your flash suppressor, and then the barrel itself right here, the piece that you're going to insert inside the upper receiver, the aluminum upper receiver, where steel and aluminum meet, where you're at m most risk for these two pieces welding themselves together after the extreme heat and pressure of use over time. And by the time that barrel shot out, that's when any other grease is gonna be non-existent at that point. So it's nice and lubricated. I've got the receiver all lubed up. Slide the two right in there. It's actually gonna help with the installation a little bit too, because it's a snug fit. Okay, then you're going to slide your barrel nut on. And good thing, this is a steel barrel nut, so you've got aluminum threads on that receiver, so that's something else you have to be careful of. So this is the three places, so so far we've done is the aluminum receiver inside, and then the barrel itself on the outside of it, and then the tip of the barrel where the flash suppressor is going to go. And then also on your lower, you're going to put it back here in these grooves where your buffer tube will actually go. So it's just kind of nice. You've got this grease, you've got four places to put it during your installation, and really it's the best insurance you can buy that you're gonna be able to keep your AR-15 for generations and generations to come and give it to your kids. So pick up some AeroShell 33MS. You really can't go wrong, it's really inexpensive. We sell it on our website. Um, I'll have the link below in the show more section. And uh, Happy shooting, guys, and congratulations on your build. Really proud of you. It's the, uh, it is the gun of the American Patriot. Good luck. Happy shooting.